Do you ever struggle with feeling overwhelmed? Well, if you say no to that, I can't relate to you. But if you nod your head and say yes, and maybe even say yes a lot, then we're connecting because I get it. And I know what it's like to feel incredibly overwhelmed. And I've learned over the years in experiencing heart healing and transformation and, and help in the areas of my life is that what I need is I need to tune into love. The love of God settles my heart because many times when we're overwhelmed, it's like, it's like we're in the ocean and we're, we're drowning and we're underwater and we feel like everything's kicked up. You know, you ever go swimming in a beautiful area of the ocean or just a really clear set of water and you're, you're, you're going through and you can just, you can't see everything, right? But you can see enough that it's just beautiful. But then all of a sudden debris kicks up, sand kicks up, or the waves start kicking up, or maybe you're struggling and you're swimming and you just get overwhelmed and you start panicking and you can't see, right? And it's a great analogy to many times what happens when we're overwhelmed. And the more we kick and the more we panic and the more we domino, the worse it gets. And many times what we try to do is immediately, I got to fix this, fix this, fix this, fix this. And we end up being harder on ourselves. And when you're hard on yourself, you always make things worse. When you do the blame, shame, guilt thing, things just get worse. All that self-hate thoughts and the inner critic and the inner Pharisee just beat you up, beat you up. I found one of the greatest things that happens in that moment is when we're able to calm ourselves and be able to say, now what? You see, when you're when you're drowning in the water, and even if a lifeguard or someone comes to rescue you, if you're kicking and kicking and kicking, you can even drown them in the process. One of the first things they, have, they, they say to you is, you got to be able to calm down. Because once they can calm you down. Now, calm down is meaning settling your heart. One of the ways that we can really settle our hearts is tuning into God's kindness for you. Wherever you are and whatever you're going through, God's kindness is here. Now, what does it mean to experience God's kindness? It's the atmosphere that he cultivates. That when he talks to you, have you ever been around somebody and they were just really kind to you? You don't even want to leave. But when you do walk away, you feel connected. You feel loved. You appreciate what you just experienced. I don't know about you, but even if I go to a restaurant and the waitress is really kind, I just really appreciate that. If I go to a, a store and someone's really kind and helpful, if I have a conversation and they go out of their way to be kind and say a kind word, it, it's so meaningful. Well, God is always kind. He is love. He is the very essence of love. And so when we want to gain direction as we're going through the ocean of life, what we need to do is settle, settle the debris, Settle the sand so that we can get our goggles back on and see what we need to see and take the next step. And so tuning into God's kindness is the greatest way to do that, is to let him nurture you with his kindness. Let him nurture you with his patience. And maybe what you could do right now is just stop and pause as you're watching this video and just take in and breathe in that God is kind towards you you. What's he saying in his kindness right now in your life? And I found that that helps me to unload overwhelm, take in a deep breath and go, okay, he's with me. He's not left me. And now I can take the next step. I pray this is a blessing to your life, to your journey. I want to just keep encouraging you to take the heart healing journey, to take those steps because without kindness, you're going to lose perspective. That's why a soothing word from someone who's kind can make all the difference in your life. And so I pray that as you experience the heart healing journey, you'll learn to experience that. Maybe even take another step too and get a get a cop get a hold of the copy of get a copy of <laughs> my book God loves me and I love myself. It's going to help you to learn also what it looks like to see yourself the way that God sees you with his love. If this video has been a help to your life, consider supporting with a one-time donation or a regular financial support, and it'll be a real help to the work that we feel called to do. Thank you so much.